these stretches are specifically designed for gamers as they relate to the movements that you may be doing, um, sometimes for longer periods of time. Make sure when you do these stretches that they feel good and comfortable. If there's any pain or unusual discomfort, you'd wanna stop the stretch. And if you do have questions, feel free to reach out to your primary care provider to figure out if these stretches are fit for you. All right, so let's get started. The first one is for our neck. We'll call it just a simple neck stretch. So slowly tilt your head to your right side, bringing your right ear toward your right shoulder. This should feel like a nice gentle stretch on your left side. And then hold that for five to 10 seconds, return your head to a neutral position, and then try that on the other side. And you'll hold this for five to 10 seconds. And then return your position back to neutral. And you can do this for three sets if you'd like. Next is shoulder rolls. So this helps to keep your shoulders in a neutral position and you don't want them hiking up towards your ears. So relax your shoulders down and back and slowly roll your shoulders up, back and down. Do this for five to 10 times to relieve any tension that builds up in your shoulders and be very conscious of bringing your shoulders back and down. Repeat this motion for five to 10 times and be very conscious of where your shoulders are moving and aim to bring your shoulders back and down more often than bringing them up. The next stretch is for your wrist. Start by extending your arm in front of you with your palm facing down and use your other hand to gently press down on your fingers until you feel the stretch in your wrist and forearm. Hold that for a count of five to 15 and then switch and extend your hand up, pulling your fingers upward and hold that for a count of five to 15. The next stretch is for our fingers. With this one, you can start in a prayer position and just slowly elevate your elbows to stretch your fingers and to get them into an extension position. You can hold this for a count of five to 15. The next stretch is for your spine. You can scoot to the edge of your chair. And with this motion, you'll gently twist to the right. You'll hold the stretch for five to 15 seconds. Come back to neutral and very slowly, you'll twist to the right and hold this position for five to 15 seconds. All of these stretches can be done in seated or standing, but the next two stretches you'll wanna do in a standing position. The next step is to stretch out our hip flexors, or some people may know them as our quadriceps. To start with, bend your right leg back and behind and balance on your left leg. Hold your right ankle or your foot with your right hand. Gently pull your right knee into a more bent position until a stretch is felt on the front of your right thigh. Hold this stretch for about five to 15 seconds and then switch your legs and repeat. The next stretch is to help stretch out our calf or some people know this as our Achilles or Achilles tendon. Um, this can help elongate the back part of the lower leg. Start by positioning your body with your right leg forward. Shift your weight onto your right leg and bend your right knee. Keep your left leg straight and your left heel on the floor, which creates a stretch in your left calf and Achilles and hold this stretch for about five to 15 seconds and then switch legs and repeat. When you repeat, you'd position your left leg forward and follow the previous steps. Thanks for joining me today. If you'd like more details about these stretches, feel free to check out the blog on our website. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you'd like weekly ergonomic tips and tricks, feel free to subscribe to this channel. We'll see you next time.